From the drift of tiny floating plankton to the migrations of large predators, like tuna, sea turtles and birds across oceans, marine functional connectivity describes all the movements of all marine organisms throughout their lives. This includes krill moving up and down in the water, the feeding dives of penguins, the long-distance seasonal migrations of whales, and also the lifetime journey that eventually separates offspring from their parents. For many, this separation occurs during the first moments of life, when tiny eggs and larvae are transported by oceanic currents, sometimes over very long distances. So the final length of the journey can't be predicted based on species size or swimming ability. This, coupled with the difficulties in observing marine organisms in the vast ocean, makes inferring the movements of all marine organisms over their lifetimes a massive challenge. To do so, scientists use many methods which fall into four main categories. Electronic tagging and tracking, chemical marker analyses, genetic studies and modelling. Tagging and tracking with electronic tags give the most accurate descriptions of species movement, but can only be used on larger organisms. These recording devices work just like a GPS and allow the tracking of movements over months or even years. Features of the environment like temperature can also be recorded, providing valuable data on swimming depths and the habitats where the animals live and feed. Thanks to chemical markers and biological tissues, we can identify where many marine species have lived and what they have eaten. For this, we mainly use hard structures formed from an early age, like fish ear stones, shells or vertebrae, which grow in layers producing rings like those seen in trees. The chemical compositions of these rings reflect the past environmental conditions, which can retrace individual movements at different ages. We can also exploit chemical markers in soft tissues to explore species diets and quantify energy and matter transfers within and between habitats. As DNA is the building block of life, genetic methods apply to all organisms. Recent advances now allow the routine use of genetics to describe the distribution and long-term connectivity of populations and communities. For example, environmental DNA can identify all species present at any site, providing useful data about species ranges and where they overlap. We can also measure current and ancient population connectivity by examining genetic similarity among individuals from different locations. It is even now possible to estimate connectivity across generations by identifying parents and their offspring and comparing their respective distributions. Lastly, dispersal and environmental niche modelling allow estimation of present and future connectivity for a wide range of species. Most modelling approaches copy oceanic currents and environmental conditions and combine these physical data with species physiology and ecology to make predictions of probable species distributions. We can also model plankton dispersal and the journeys of the many eggs, larvae and tiny organisms it contains. With increasingly powerful computers, these predictions are becoming ever more detailed and reliable. Through combining techniques, we can obtain unique insights into the relationships between marine organisms and the diverse ecosystems they inhabit. This knowledge of marine functional connectivity can then be applied in decision-making for marine conservation and management. For example, in the design of effective networks of marine protected areas in which human activities are carefully regulated, or to better understand where and when fishing controls should be applied to prevent species extinction and fishery collapse. The future promises further integration of the approaches used in marine functional connectivity research and a better understanding of how the movements of marine organisms contribute to the functioning of our planet and regulation of our climate. This will be essential if we are to sustainably exploit marine resources while maintaining the health, biodiversity and productivity of the ocean.